Hey guys, it's good to be back here inside the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. It's been a while, and today we're going to be exploring an experiment using items that have never before been seen inside the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. These items are specifically for the educational version and have a lot of uses. The first one's going to be this very weird cube in front of me. This very, very weird cube is called a contraption cube. We have the ability with contraption cubes to change their mass, to change their elasticity, or how bouncy they are, and to change uh, how much they're affected by the force of friction against the floor. Really, really cool. We have a lot of uses for those. We also have new features for the aerial faith plate. Aerial faith plates now have the ability to change angle and the ability to change the force of the impulse used to launch objects. This gives us the ability to be very specific about how objects are launched off of aerial faith plates. We have a third new item inside the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. Speech bubbles. When I walk up to the speech bubble and press E, it gives me information about our contraption cube right next to us. Very useful. We have two other new features to the Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. They're shown at the top of the screen. We can see a stopwatch, which is now built into the game itself by pressing J, I start it, K, I stop it, and L, I reset it. And we could see some pause buttons and some play buttons next to it. By pressing the number keys 1 through 5, I can change the rate at which time passes in the game from being normal, stopped, 50%, 10%, and 1% speed. So we can really get a chance to see the way objects are moving inside the game. Let's go ahead and explore the law of conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum tells us about the way collision should happen. In our first collision, we have two cubes. The first one we already saw, the second one's over here. I can press the speech bubble, and we see that this contraption cube has the exact same mass and velocity as the first one. You can see right now, they're sitting on a hard light bridge. If I press 2 and freeze time and press this button, the hard light bridge disappears, but time is frozen, so they're st sitting still. I can go ahead back up, get a good view, and press 1 to watch the collision occur. We can see that both cubes had the same momentum, so they landed um, and bounced off each other about the same way. Let's go ahead and check this out in slow motion. Alright, let's go ahead and look at another collision. In this collision we've got a cube with a normal mass and a high velocity. We've got another cube with a normal mass and a low velocity. I think we'd expect that the high velocity cube should knock the other one backwards. Let's go ahead and find out. Pause time, remove the bridge, walk backwards, and when we press 1, we see that our high velocity cube had a much higher momentum and knocked the other cube backwards. In our third test, we're going to go ahead and have a cube with a high mass and a normal velocity. And we're going to collide that cube with another cube of a normal mass and a normal velocity. So this time we ex we'd expect the heavier cube at the same velocity to knock the lower mass cube backwards. Let's go ahead and freeze time, get rid of the hard light bridge, back up and watch. And that's what we see. We saw our, hard, our heavier cube knock the other one backwards. And if you look carefully, you can see that our heavier cube has a larger sphere on the inside than the smaller one. The contraption cubes give us some hints about their properties based on their appearance. In this test, we have another cube that's heavy. We can tell just by looking at the sphere on the inside. We press our speech bubble and find out that it's going to be moving at a high velocity. On the other side, we see a cube that has a much smaller sphere on the inside, so we know it's going to be lighter. And our speech bubble tells us, tells us that it's going to be moving at a very low velocity. So this collision, I think we, it's pretty safe to expect that the heavy, fast one is going to be beating the slower, lighter one. Let's go ahead and freeze time, get rid of the hard light bridge, back up, and let's watch this happen. It's a pretty good hit. Let's watch it in slow motion. Okay, in this next test we're going to be playing with the elasticity and friction of our cubes. By pressing our speech bubble here we can see that this cube has a mass of 40 kilograms, is frictionless and very bouncy. We can tell that it's frictionless because the outside is very smooth on this uh, contraption cube. If we go to the other side, we can 
compress our speech bubble and find out that this cube is very sticky and very bouncy. We know it's very sticky because we can look at the cube on the outside and see that it's got those ridges that will make it very difficult to slide around. Let's go ahead freeze time, get rid of our hard light bridge, back up and see what happens when bouncy cubes hit each other. Gotta love that bounce. Let's go ahead and do our last test. We can see another smooth cube, so this one's frictionless and it's not going to be very bouncy. Well, this cube is very sticky and also isn't bouncy. Let's see what happens when they collide. I'm going to stop time, go ahead, get rid of our hard light bridge, back up, and let's watch. They hit, they barely bounce off each other. We can see our frictionless cube slide away while our sticky cube stays in place. Let's check out one last experiment. In this experiment, I'll press the button in front of me. All the cubes will drop at the same time, and we'll be able to see every collision at once. You'll also notice that when I press this button, the stopwatch at the top of the screen will start. That's because you can link buttons to stopwatches. Let's see what happens. And there you have it. It's been a lot of fun playing with contraption cubes and aerial faith plates today. Uh, that's going to be it, though. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and comment on my blog at physicswithportals.com or on the YouTube videos. Take care, guys.